All you can do is give your best at that moment. Like, they can tell you you lost, but if you gave your 100% and you did better than you always did, nobody can tell you you lost. So I agree with you 200%. Thank you. And I agree with you also highly on what you said. There was some really good Me things too. that you touched on. As far as the question in general, like, we all know what an air flare is, but we all know that you can make an air flare super creative. And there have been people that have <coughs> done inverted, really twisted, abstract styles of doing an air flare. So, it's up to the judge, judge's knowledge of where the air flare is in his vocabulary. If I just seen one air flare and I never saw transitions before and I'm judging, I'm not gonna know how to judge it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I personally never did an air flare. So my job is a little bit harder to, to research and ask questions to people because, you know, it does, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not as good as a judge because I'm not the, be I have weaknesses as a judge. You know, I don't, I've never done some of the moves that people do now. I'm a traditional b-boy. I, I come from many years back, so, but I also try to look and try to talk to people and hear what people, I try to listen. So, I mean, I can be criticized for that, definitely on power. People think Ken Swift is looking at footwork. No, I'm not. I know what footwork is, but you know what? You better do some serious fucking footwork in 2012 to impress me, because I know what yeah. footwork is. So it's like, I can value an air flare and footwork equally. You better push your air flare this way. You better push your footwork this way. That's how, it, that's how it lands for me personally. Because, you know, I've seen dudes do air flares that I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, oh shit, did this motherfucker just do that? Seriously, and I, that's why I like judging actually, to see that moment where someone just goes crazy. And I've seen people just flip footwork at the right time. You know, a, a power move at the right time can destroy any footwork combo and a good footwork combo at the right time can destroy any power combo, yeah. if it's done the right way. So. <laughs> Basically, this is my perspective on what you said, and I agree with you 200%. Mm -hmm. It is a lot to look at, and it's like, people expect so much from a judge. The judge is a human being just like you. We're the same people, we bleed, you, you cut, I cut you, you cut me, we're gonna do this, we're gonna bleed the same way. You know, we're not perfect. I, I have made mistakes in judging, I know it, but it's okay, you know what I'm saying? I take the road less traveled. If you ever have been a judge, trust me when I tell you it's not easy and you're gonna make a lot of enemies. But let's get back to what we're talking about right now. I did a lecture at NYU uh, for the Arts and Humanities section for NYU, New York University in New York City. I did a lecture. They invited me, which I was so flattered. I was just like amazed that they even wanted me to speak about the art form that I was a part of. And, one, one part of the, the conversation was like, you know, respect, and it was, it was like this. You know, it was a situation that I ran into where there was a younger brother disrespecting me, you know what I'm saying, about whatever I said or did, or even maybe a contest, and I said, my whole thing was about that. We as the elders, we need to come together, elders of hip-hop culture that have laid the groundwork for all of you people around the world. We need to come together and check people. People need to be checked when they disrespect an elder. Did you disrespect your mother or your father? Do you respect, disrespect your uncle? When I was young, I grew up learning that you respect your elders. It was something that was traditional. It was something cultural. It was something family oriented. And I'm saying your mother and your father, because that's not your favorite B-boy. Let's not get it twisted. I'm not saying you should respect some dude you don't know. But at the end of the day, I felt like after these young brothers was trying to put me on blast, I'm like, hold up a, check, a second right now. You're trying to disrespect me, you know what I'm saying? Take it easy for a second. And, you know, if you got something to say to me, come to me with respect and say it. You know what I'm saying? Man up, come at me, and I got it, man. If you can correct me, I'll stand back and I'll be a man and I'll take it in the chin and I'll be like, you got that. I ain't perfect. I'm not going to try to fight you to the end. If you're right and I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But come step up properly like an adult like a respectable person. I've had people just straight fly out the, out the mouth for me. I almost got into fist fights after many battles. Fist fights after many battles. People just pushing me like, I'm about to slap someone in the face right now that's half my age. You know, and I'm thinking about how do I react to this? I come from the street, man. Y'all could look at me and say I'm famous and everything, but I come from the block. 
you, you go past a certain line, it's going to go somewhere else, and I don't want it to go there. So I'm saying, as an elder, i got to let them breathe that fire at me. Breathe your fire. You lost the battle. You angry. I understand. You got ego. You macho. I got you, bro. But take it easy. Take it easy. That's all I'm saying. So I said, when these brothers step up, we need to, as the elders, all step up and say, yo, my man, come on. Check this out. You don't do that. That's not the way you do it in hip-hop culture. And I spoke about that in, that in that lecture. I said, I think we all need to come together and just let people know. And the more we start saying it, people are just going to get it. And they're going to know not to do it. But if we don't speak up and we let people know, they're just going to fly off the handle. Look, you can put me on the spot and say, Ken Swift, you're the reason I lost this battle. All right? And I'll take it in the chin. You're going to hate me. And I, I met a lot of crews, man, that I loved, and we hung out. And then after they lost, they were kind of, I felt the energy was different with, with me after the fact. And I, and I still got love, because I'm an adult. I have my own children. I have children. And, and I treat a lot of these situations since 1990, uh, since 90, about 98, as a matter of fact, 1990, because, you know, I had my, my children grew up like, just treat them like your children, because I'm an elder. I can, I can understand that you're angry and shit, you want to... You just want to diss somebody. So I get it, man. But, but there's a line that you got to take it easy with. Show me your anger and your fire, but take it easy. There's a line you don't cross. Don't disrespect anybody that's elder. Always understand that if it wasn't for the elders, you would not be here. If it wasn't for an elder that showed you that pen or that spray paint can or that little move on the floor or that MC lyric or that cut, you would not be doing this. You saw an elder do it in your city, and your city's elder saw an elder in New York City do it. Trust me when I tell you that, worldwide. So respect your elders, and that's, that, that's the message. And this is what I'm talking to you about when you ask yeah. that question. So I'm asking about it. Yeah, and this is what I'm, I'm responding to you. It's like, you have the right to question our answers. Don't be afraid to question an elder, but there's a line, okay? Show some respect. Would you disrespect your mother like that? Your father? You know what my father do? My, my, I didn't, my father raised me. My mother, I disrespect my mother. I get slapped. Uh, she'll slap fire out my face. <laughs> and it happened to me once. <laughs> my mother slapped a spark out my face. When, no, my grandmother smacked me one time for raising my voice to my mother. My grandmother sparked this. She said, a, 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 I, literally electricity came out of my face. <laughs> And I was put in check, and I was young. And after that, I, I, I got it. Okay, I'm good. We got a question. She put me back yeah. in my lane. So ultimately, it's not about hitting people. Don't get it twisted. Yeah. I'm just saying, in general, you know, I, I relate to these experiences because we should respect our. Just so, give respect nice. and get respect. Yeah. Yeah. Mama cool, mama sama, 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 mama cool, mama sama